You know what's up, everybody? Good night, I'm here, and welcome back to another special episode. Well, not a special episode. The very last episode of WW2K20 My Career Mode. Alright, let's uh, start by checking out our messages. And we have a different fucking phone again. Great. AJ. <coughs> I'm trying to clear our voice. For AJ. Can't believe what happened the other night. You two deserved better, but that's over. Tonight's your chance to show the world what you're made of. And you weren't. Believe it or not, I'll be pulling for you tonight. And yes, you can call me Vipes. You've earned it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, insert Andy Storm's victory dance here. I got a raw contract. I got a raw contract. The I got a raw contract. They read it in ink, and the ink is dry, so they can't take it back. I got a raw contract. <laughs> Buzz. You and Red got this. There's no other possible outcome. Are you saying that you're self-aware that this is a video game? Alright, is there one last Buzz and Cole show before I end this? No. Ugh. Swap superstars. Let's check out Red's messages. Oh shit, Brooklyn. In just a few hours, whatever horrible nightmare we've been living in will finally come to an end when the American hero takes her rightful spot in the WWE Hall of Fame alongside Samoa Joe. You know, we Krangle and Samoa Joe are going to be in the Hall of Fame together. But ruining your big moment the other night and now being able to destroy your entire legacies forever. This is going to be the happiest time of my life. Goodbye forever, hothead. Please know I wanted to help at the Hall of Fame, but was worried Joe would hurt Trey. And after what they did, winning the match tonight won't be enough. You need to maim Brooklyn. So, kill her. What happened at the Hall of Fame was the worst thing I've ever seen in all the years of this business. Tonight, you avenge that. How's that old mustard diet going for you, X-Pac? Haven't been able to get a hold of you, but just heard about the match at WrestleMania. Give them hell, Natalia. There are a few things I know from facing you over the years. You're Calgary through, though you now never quit. After tonight, you'll still be a Hall of Famer. Or will they? Dun dun dun. Oh, I, I want to talk to Vibes. Why can't I talk to Vibes? Okay, I'll talk to Riley Flash. Then we won't know what fuck. It doesn't matter how tonight turns out, because either way, I'm proud of how far you and Red have come. I mean, sure, it'd be nice to be able to say I trained two WWE Hall of Famers, and I could probably raise my rates again. But like I said, doesn't matter. Well, I know we didn't always see eye to eye, but me and Red owe you for helping us get our start. What do you mean we didn't see eye to eye? You were my prize student. Never doubted you once. I used to call you sure thing Trey. Are you serious? You thought I'd be a manager at best. And you definitely didn't think I'd make it to WWE, let alone become a Hall of Famer. I think you said something about pooping golden nuggets? I don't recall that. Anyway, good luck, sure thing. I find it funny how at the beginning of the career mode, Riley Flash <laughs> freaking sitted all over Trey. By the end of the career mode, he's praising Trey. You know you're gonna tell us it's not too late to change our minds about the match and putting our Hall of Fame spots on the line, but we need to do this. I wasn't gonna say that at all. It's actually way too late to change your minds. The match is happening. Oh, okay, well, that's good then. I was going to say that if things don't go well, Brooklyn and Samoa Joe can't erase your legacies. Everything you worked for and accomplished won't just disappear. Sounds like you don't think we can win. Look, you both have defied the odds before, but I'm just being realistic. <laughs> when it comes time to honor the Hall of Fame class tonight, we'll be out there front and center. Wait, 
Let's we'll talk to Mickey. Look, I know we haven't spoken much since I've been gone, but I just wanted to say I'm pulling for you tonight. And Brooklyn had no right to exploit your past and ruin your big moment. I appreciate you saying that, but I also know how your impatience and temper can get the best of you sometimes. So I'm a little worried that you rushed into this match, especially considering your condition and what's at stake. Thanks for your concern, seriously. But this is something we have to do, no matter what we could lose in the process. Hmm. 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 Let's dive on into this match. WrestleMania? Damn. Looks good. This is actually a cool looking WrestleMania stage. I might make this our actual WrestleMania stage. In the universe mode. Max, don't be mad at Red at Trey. He just wants to. But the, Max, don't be mad at Andy. He just wants to enjoy his final match. This is why I left the two seats. It's time to move on. I'm glad you're here. I think that might have been Trey's adopted parents sitting at ringside. I think you're right, Byron. As Red and Trey wearing a. WrestleMania entire. So now both of Andy Storm's WrestleMania entires have involved gold in them in some capacity. And why is it Baron Corbin's thing down there? Like the fuck? That's not her thing. Choke. Wait, so in other words, Joe isn't defending his WWE Champion tonight. Is she wearing paint on her arm? Brooklyn and Samoa Joe have been unstoppable from both a mental and physical 
Charlotte standpoint, since the moment they joined forces, Red and Trey would have a hard time stopping them if they were at full strength. And we know they're not even close to that. And there you see Red and Brooklyn facing off. There is so much history between these two. We're talking decades of hostility. I don't know if it'll ever end, but we'll get at least some kind of resolution after tonight's contest is over. We're not sure who's going to start the match tonight. It actually looks like Brooklyn and Samoa Joe are discussing that right now. Apparently, it'll be Samoa Joe and Trey. Brooklyn's gonna make Red wait to get her hands on her. Yet another calculated move from the American hero. This is it. Here we go. WrestleMania is often called the showcase of the immortals. But Red and Trey aren't here to showcase their immortality. We're here to try to save it by retaining their spots in the WWE Hall of Fame. The fact that Red and Trey are even fighting alongside each other after Brooklyn Von Braun destroyed their original career defining list and nearly did the same thing to their friendship just proves their bond is unbreakable. They truly are a package deal. While I agree with you on that, you have to consider what I said earlier. There's no way Red and Trey are 100 or even 50% after the brutal attack just two nights ago. Oh, that's cool. They start um, they started us off with a handicap. I like that. He's stuck in the corner now. Here we go. Start the count. seems to have an endless store of energy. And no luck against Joe there. Uh-uh. Great decision by Joe to capitalize. Wow, what a sequence. He just cannot be caught. Come on, right the jump. Whoa, why does Joe have two finishers? an anticlimactic match. I wonder if we can make a mixed tag match champion. This might have been our first time seeing one of your matches in person, but we were always watching on TV. We're proud of you, son. Can I, I still call you that? 
Yeah. We have a lot of catching up to do. I'm sorry about that. We all are. It's okay. We, we, we have something for you. There's some maintenance guy from the arena that's selling it online. It wasn't cheap. Luckily, we've gotten good at puzzles in our old age. Oh my gosh! I thought I lost you, but you There's one thing left on there we need to finish crossing off. It appears that the list has somehow been solid. Red and Trey can now pick up where they left off two nights ago. Tonight, we witnessed the unexpected. An unexpected victory. An unexpected reconciliation. And finally, the unexpected return of what some might think is just an old scrap of paper. But it was more than that to Red and Trey. It's what led them to this very moment that to them was expected all along. They may not have known how they'd end up here, but they knew when they created that list that this was their destiny. Well said, Michael. So every bit of this in, Red and Trey, you deserve it. Come on, show us Velveteen Dream, so clap. <laughs> Are they gonna roll the credits like they did that in last year's game? Are they gonna have some epic credits with a B? Epic. That's first is supposed to be WrestleMania 20 and 29. <laughs> Wonder if they're actually gonna make. If that's how WrestleMania 2029 is gonna be, and they're gonna have LEDs on the freaking barricade, but Samoa Joe Bionic Arm, Samoa Joe Hall of Fame entire, which is a Samoa Joe and Bionic Arm with a shirt, a T-shirt on, and Brooklyn Von Bon WrestleMania 2029. 20, My career completed. They we didn't get uh ah shit, we didn't get a credit sequence. Oh well. Technus and oh, there's stuff for each class for brawler. Oh, okay, those are nice. Oh, a custom baseball bat. Oh, they we all get oh they all get custom weapons. All right, neat. <laughs> a prosthetic arm. Ooh, that's nice. Mm. Nice. Nice. Mm. Nice. Mm -mm. Ooh, those are nice kick pads, not gonna lie. Luchador rookie masks, nice. Strong child, some missing artist. Alright, my career. My career awards. Omago Jr. Unlocked. Just Jane unlocked. Unlocked. It says I'm it says right there unlocked, but I don't have it. The fuck. Mm. Andrew.
Oh, yeah. yeah, that's how you unlock Velveteen Dream. My career mode. Oh, Miz and motion capsing, capture gear. <laughs> epic. A lot of weapons. Man. The new day and stuff. Man. This is... I haven't gotten any of this. I haven't even bothered to get any of that. Oh well. Please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more. Pa 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 peace.